What's up, Ichu? For today's video, this is going to be our guide on how to use Iron Moth in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Iron Moth set that maybe you didn't see covered here, let me know about it in the comment section of the video and tell me what set works for you the best. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is my final uh, Paradox Pokemon. I've covered all of them, so it's going to be uh, going on to all the other uh, Gen 9 Pokemon after this. All right, so having a look at this set here, we're going to be starting with an Agility set. We've got Boosted Energy as the item, of course, which is going to be boosting up that nice special attack stat there by 1.3 and i'm also going to be making this bulky so you're probably wondering why i've given it no speed i feel like if you don't run uh if you run like max speed on this for an agility set i feel like that's a waste like a vv you could potentially give this max health instead have a better chance at uh, at least surviving the first move there, being more bulky to priority moves, and you know still having a lot of speed there after one agility. So you know we got the agility, which is going to double the speed by two, and a plus one in special attack, which is going to be like you know, astronomical, like really, really like hard hitting, you know. So we've got Fiery Dancer to further boost the special attack by one. We've got Sludge Wave, of course, as Poison Stab. And we've got Energy Ball. Now, Energy Ball is kind of important to run on this because you have to do it for ground-type Pokemon. Now, speaking of uh, having a Grass-type move... I'm going to be giving this Terra Grass because that's going to be perfect for any Pokemon that are coming that are Grass type Pokemon. Also, Water type Pokemon at the same time as well. So that way you might be able to live a priority Aqua Jet or something like that by going for Terra Grass and taking out that Azumarill, which could have been a threat, for example, or like a Choice Scarf Earthquake Pokemon, anything like that, or just you know, a ground type move in general. So I think that'll work really, really well as a agility sweeper that you could mess around the EVs if you want if you really want to if you're really worried about its speed initially and you just want to give it uh, you know max speed you can but I like the idea of giving it more bulk I feel like it's a bit of a waste of EVs in speed there because let's be real after really there's nothing that's going to be even after that nothing's really going to be outspeeding you unless it's like super duper fast Pokemon and even then you've got a good chance of living it because it's got 110 base in special defense and uh, 80 health isn't too bad either. So, yeah, uh, that's the uh, first set I would recommend there for Iron Moth as an agility sweeper. Um, you can't overlook its special attack here because it is huge. So, I've given this one choice specs as the item, and I've given it uh, overheat which is 130 base power, which is going to be hitting very, very hard. We've got Sludge Wave there too. I've given it Energy Ball, and it also gets Discharge, which is really nice for uh, Water-type Pokemon and stuff like that. So a little bit of surprise there that it actually gets Discharge, but cool. I've given this Terra-type Grass, which I feel works probably the best on this set, um, on most sets too, giving it Grass. Even... Um, I feel like that's the best Terra type to give it. Unless you really, really, truly want to go for like a very, very powerful move like uh, Overheat, you know, Terra Fire, you know. But uh, I like Grass. It's just good all around and gets around your weaknesses. And, you know, your weaknesses, uh, you can hit very, very hard with a Energy Ball and Grass Terra type. So there you go. Uh, the EV spread I've given this one is Max Special Attack and Max Speed Tip of Nature. Um, you want this to be as fast as possible. And, you know, it, it is, it's a very good Pokemon there. Now, let's have a look uh, at a sort of a bit of a utility set here. So, Iron Moth is a not a bad Toxic Spike setter. So, let's run with that. So, we've got a bulky speedy set here. So, we've got Max Health and Max Speed Tim and Nature. I've got Toxic Spikes, which is going to allow me to set... You know, a, a good chunk of them up there. I've got Morning Sun for recovery. I've also got Whirlwind too, which is kind of nice. So you could potentially couple this with a Stealth Rock Pokemon too on your team, which would be great. And then you got uh, you got Fiery Dance as well. Just as a coverage move to do some damage. And plus, every time you use it, you'll get a boost in your special attack or 50% chance to uh, boost a special attack, which isn't bad on a Pokemon with, uh, you know, no EVs in special attack. Now, the item I've got is Black Sludge there for some recovery. And it's, it's not bad, you know. I've given this one Terra Flying because commonly there is a lot of you know, ground type moves sneaking around there and a lot of leads do have ground type moves too. So this potentially gets around that and allows you to set up two Toxic Spikes 
And with Fiery Dance, you're not exactly like useless. You can still do some sort of damage there, right? And if the opponent is something that you feel like is going to set up on you, say Azumarill comes in for a little belly drum, well, just whirlwind them away, and that'll be perfect. So, in, you know, incoming toxic damage, that'll be really, really cool. Now, you could also, for example, there's another option here. You could give it Venoshock too. This is another way to make use of the toxic spike. So, it's up to you what you want there. Venoshock for more damage later on um, after you've whirlwind them out or fiery dance for some more damage so it's up to you what you want to do that you could also make this a you actually could make this a sweeper as well for a venoshock sweeper so you could go something like this i'm just thinking this up on the spot now so we've got red card as the item now i'd get rid of morning sun and i'd get rid of whirlwind because we don't need them anymore so venoshock is now going to be um a poison type move instead of sludge drive so we, this is going to power when the opponent uh double and base power when the opponent is uh you know poison so that's going to be 130 base power which is uh enormous right and that's gonna and it's gonna be way better than sludge wave you know so and then you can give it its other moves that you want in it so i'd obviously give it a energy ball and i'd probably give it uh Look, you give it Fiery Dance or Fire Blast, whatever you want there. I, I like Fiery Dance because it, you know, boosts a special uh, you know, attack there. And I'd adjust the EVs here, obviously. Um, so there we go. Um, give that set a try. Not a bad idea. So you get one layer Toxic Spikes. Red card activates, swaps them, and then the incoming Pokemon is Poison. Of course, this only works if the opponent doesn't have a Poison type on the team. So obviously, you're going to have to get rid of the Poison type before you use this strategy. As for the Terra type, you could go... Look, you'd probably be better going off of Grass or flying depending on uh depending on your set but grass or flying i'd recommend for terrors because it just works very very nicely so yeah there's a uh, agility sweeper specs uh we've got a, a toxic spike setter and we also have a venoshock toxic spike sweeping combination there next up we've got a little bit more meme set here we've got a bulky trapper i've used this one before and it actually works fairly well so when you look at uh iron moths all around uh bulk it isn't actually all that bad it's got a nice high special defensive stat its health is respectable i guess nothing amazing but it's, it's reasonable and yes yeah, defense is kind of bad so we're going to be running a very defensive set here today so we've got max health and max defense bold nature now that's going to make it pretty uh pretty even with its special defense there so i've given this fire spin now this is to trap the opponent in this would work very well with another toxic spikes pokemon like uh maybe not glimora but uh Anything else that has toxic spice that isn't like weak to ground, you know, would be kind of nice there, or you know, levitate or anything like that. Now, I've got Grip Claw on this. What Grip Claw does, it uh, actually makes uh, trapping moves such as a fire spin last for seven turns. Now, I've got Morning Sun to heal off any damage. I've got Protect to do extra damage with a Fire Spin. Um, you know, obviously stalling the little opponent out and stuff. And I've also got Acid Spray as well to drop the uh, special defense of the opponent by two. So that'll increase the amount of damage you do exponentially. The opponent will not be able to swap out. And you just keep doing more and more and more damage. And vir virtually, they will faint. You know, even if it's a very, very bulky Pokemon at negative six, uh, coming off Iron Moth's you know, big special attack. And a Stab Fire Spin is going to do a lot. Uh, eventually right so kind of a cool set there a little bit different but if you have toxic on the field toxic spikes on the field or the opponent is poisoned they are not going to last very long at all even a physical attacker is going to take a you know a fair bit of damage away for them and with morning sun you're going to have some forms of recovery at the same time I and mean, on a sun team this will work nicely too it'll have like a lot of recovery so there you go there's a bulky trapping grip claw set uh, yeah, alternatively you could actually give this rocky helmet or leftovers too that could work at the same time i sort of just like the idea of grip claw and uh, Fire Spin lasting for that seven turns is like a really attractive sort of option, you know? And then you could really get this whole set working and then you can go again on the next Pokemon. I've given it Terra Flying because of, of course, of uh, ground type Pokemon. So I'd be going with Flying type or Grass. One of the two works uh, well on these. Now, looking at uh, looking at Iron Wing, uh, Iron, Iron Moths, Iron Wings actually... Uh, kind of Susa too. Looking at Iron Moth set, uh, you could run a cool double set. This is probably my uh, favorite double set here. So firstly, for starters, I've got sweeping uh, sweeping uh, EVs on it and stuff like that, as you can see. So I've given it Adrenaline Orb as the item. So I think this would be kind of cool because you can get a, uh, a, a like a speed boost by one if it gets hit by Intimidate, which there's a good chance that there's a lot of Intimidate users around. So with Tim and Nature and Max Special Attack, it's going to get a lot of speed after that. And even, even without that, it's pretty good. So we've got that going there to give us a bit of extra speed boost. Now it's got some nice uh, spread moves here. We've got Heat Wave, which is great. You know, that's going to hit 
both the opponents. We've got Discharge, which is great here as well. So you could potentially match this up with a Volt Absorb Pokemon, a Ground type Pokemon, a Lightning Rod Pokemon. There's a lot of options. You've got a, you could even match this up. Um, you've got a Sludge Wave uh, Pokemon here too, right? So you can match that up with uh, any sort of Steel type Sue. So it's not bad, you know. It, it's got a lot of options for doubles. I like it. Uh, the other move I gave was uh, Terra Blast Grass as well. But you could go Energy Ball if you really wanted to at the same time. So I, I'd probably, matter of fact, I'd probably go Energy Ball over uh, the Terra because you've got a uh, little bit more base power there. So go Energy Ball. And that gives you pretty nice coverage. And uh, I reckon that's a, uh, a, a pretty uh, pretty interesting sort of poke on there. Obviously, it's a, a special attacking sweeper, but it's got all the moves that work, work really well for doubles. And you've got that little hidden surprise of Adrenaline Orb there to boost your speed. So maybe there's a Pokemon that comes in. Oh, I'll just, you know, swap it in and it has Intimidate. There's a lot of Intimidate Pokemon. That'll give you an extra speed boost too and make it even more threatening. So that would work very, very nicely uh, in doubles there. So that, that's probably my favorite double set, um, like competitive sort of set. Now, we're going to move on to something that's really bad here, and that is the physical side of Iron Moth. On Pim Knight's channel, we always cover all the memes, and we even cover the bad sets as well, because I like to explore every option. So, as for a physical set, with a base attack of 70, it isn't exactly the most you know, powerful Pokemon, and it really, really gets a shallow physical move for. But uh, I've managed to uh, put this one together. So, we've got Adam and Nature to begin things with here, and I've got max speed, max attack. I've given this weakness policy because really it does need a boost in its attack, and it doesn't really have any other ways outside of like a, uh, you know, a pinch berry or something like that. So, it's got Flare Blitz as its most powerful fire type move. Uh, we've got Lunge, uh, which isn't a bad option for a bug type move it's best option it also gets pounce too but uh, i like lunge better because it drops the attack and uh we've got flame charge too which is going to be increasing our speed and if you got pounce well you don't really need uh flame charge on there so that's something to think about too if you're really going for a, uh, a physical set and i've also got acrobatics on there too because that's going to be a uh, double base power after the weakness policy is consumed and it's going to give you a flying type move which is going to be kind of interesting now i've given this terrify because we want to terrify the opponents and we want to hit harder with flare blitz right so we're not really worried about like counters and stuff like that just going to do as much damage as possible with the uh uh, with the physical set now as for uh as for pokemon that you know obviously as for counters here this is uh it's defenses that right it, it's, it's very very weak on the defenses so it's weak to ground type moves obviously and commonly you know what sort of terror it's going to run it's mostly going to be running grass or fire right so if you know uh it's it's got though if you haven't terrored yet you know it's probably going to go into that which makes it predictable right um obviously any priority moves really destroy this too so say if the opponent has already uh you know uh terrored their pokemon it's going to go down to a lot you know you've got aqua jet uh any like priority water type moves there and it's um any ground type moves are really going to mess this pokemon even like weak ones are going to do a lot of damage especially like uh like on the defensive side you know it's going to absolutely destroy it now unfortunately uh unlike volcarana it doesn't get quiver dance so uh, it's it's going to be using boost energy to uh, you know boost up its special attack there, and its typing it, it's it's typing is is okay, but it's not like super amazing. So that big four times weak to ground there uh, is its uh, you know, biggest sort of threat. As for uh, some examples here, we'll go into a ground type. Let's have a look at ground type Pokemon. I'd like to have a look at these things. So, oof. So we got our uh, Clodsire here now. Clodsire completely and utterly shuts this down and especially if it's got unaware too which a lot of them do so if you want a good uh, iron moth counter say hello to clodsai there which resists uh, a lot of its moves and you know energy ball well that's going to laugh at the amount of damage that energy ball does it so clodsai is the best counter for our friend iron moth here so if you see that, just use Clodsai and yeah, they'll, they'll be completely destroyed. And you could you could just hit them with like a weak ground type move and you know, it's going to be absolutely wrecked there. And if it goes into Terra, Terra Grass, well, you've, you're a poison type. So you've got plenty of poison type moves to use. So that's the best counter in DD for that. Um, as for team options, hmm, team options. So, I mean... Let's be real, uh, Clodsai isn't bad as a team option for it, too. The only thing is they are both weak to Psychic, so you have to sort of, like, you know, watch out for that one. I'm trying to think of something that would be good as so a Levitate. Actually, let's have a look at some Levitate Pokemon real quick. I always like to look at some options we got here. Oh, Hydreigon. That's not bad. So we got, um... So we've got a Hydreigon here. Hydreigon is gonna, you know, obviously get around those ground-type moves there. 
And it's also going to be immune to any psychic type moves too, being a dark type. So you could use that as a partner if you wanted two special attackers on your team. You wanted some sort of uh, you know, synergy. Uh, this can also swap into uh, fairy type moves from the uh, Hydreigon that would be you know, worried about fairy type moves and things like that. And yeah, um, not a bad sort of strategy there with two special attackers uh, on your team. But yeah, any, any dark type Pokemon would probably be okay as well uh, to get uh, around any of those weaknesses. There's quite a lot. I mean, you've got Grimmsnarl there. That's all right. I'm um, just trying to think of some other ones. But yeah, there's there's a, there's a so many of them. Grimmsnarl, King Gambit. I mean, King Gambit is weak to ground, though. That's about the only thing you have to worry about. Uh, we got uh, Roaring Moon. There's another one. Ting Lu. Yeah, Ting Lu. So... So Ting Lu would be good too. That that will be a, a, a nice little swap in there. The only thing is it is weak to water too, but it's fairly bulky. So yeah, there's quite a, a lot of options there if you look through them and stuff like that. Um, as for some other suggestions here, let me uh, let me bring up some other suggestions. I just like to look at every single little thing we could do. Let me show you its uh, physical moves, by the way, and you get shows. So these are its physical moves. They're very, very barren, you know, extremely barren. So that's why the physical set was, uh, you know, kind of limited. So let's have a look at the status moves real quick here. So it does get light screen, which I thought you could make it like a screener at the start there. You could go light screen uh, and reflect, but it doesn't get reflect. So I thought, well, I mean, you could go like something like this, like toxic spikes and light screen, and then some other coverage moves like, you know, fiery dance. Um, and you've also got Venoshock too. So you could sort of run the red card set like this too, if you really wanted to. And that could that could possibly work too at the same time. So let me just give it some EVs there. So we'll go Tim and Nature. I like to want to go fast. But yeah, that, that could um, that could definitely work too if you wanted to put a screen up there. Um, or if you want to put light clay instead of red card, you could. But if you don't want red, if you're not going to do that, if you're not going to put that up there, I'd... Just, I'd Get rid of Sludge Wave, and I'd pro oh, sorry, I get rid of that for Sludge Wave, right? So there's a, there's another variant on that set you could do with Light Screen too. I mean, I don't think it really has to worry too much about its special. I was kind of hoping that it got Reflect, but it uh, it doesn't unfortunately. Uh, so let's have some look some more uh, move options here. It is a it is kind of limited, right? Um, but the special, it's special attacking. It's got a lot on the special side, which is really really cool. It does get Air Slash too, but Air Slash isn't like it's not that helpful really. It does get um. For psychic type Pokemon, it does get Bug Buzz too, so you can run like a, this sort of variation. I've run this before too, so you've got Bug Buzz there with uh, Throat Spray, so you know. But you've already got the thing about this is you've already got Booster Energy, so Booster Energy can do the same thing here, right? That can do the same thing without having Bug Buzz, so. It's whether up to you whether you want to run that move, you know. So you've got other moves here. So you've got Fiery Dance at the same time. And we'll give it uh, Sludge Wave, of course. And yeah, they, they, you've got you've got Bug Buzz there. But it does take up a slot for like a, a better move. So it's sort of up to you what you want to, you know, bring on there and stuff like that. But that, that, I could see that working too. Instead of um, running Agility, you could do that. There's a uh, an idea of if you want to run Throat Spray, you can. But uh, I'd probably get rid of that. And I'd go... We've also got we've got Dazzling Gleam. That's not going to do too much there. I mean, you could go Terra. I mean, if you really worry about ground, you could go Terra Ice too. But yeah, Ice isn't the greatest type to change into. Uh, it even gets Charge Beam too, which is interesting. So you could run like a bulky sort of set there. You could run like a bulky Assault Vest set with Charge Beam. That could be another option at the same time. Uh, it actually gets Solar Beam too. That's interesting. So you could have a little bit more base power get rid of the energy ball and go like uh, power herb that could work too or even better even better run this on a sun team with like um, let me just get rid of that for a second so let's go with a uh, talkle so we're talkle right let's just imagine we've got a talkle here setting up the sun and we've got eight turns so then we can use solar beam in the sun so it's much much more powerful than energy ball great we've got fiery dance and sludge wave so that's going to get boosted that's going to go in one turn this is all going to be powerful of course and quark drive is going to activate too so that frees us up with the item there which is really really cool so you could go you could go life orb too so this thing would be doing like wild amounts of uh of damage let me just see here for a second what other move i'd give it mm, you've also got air slash too maybe maybe bug buzz for psychic you could just go bug buzz on there for psychic type pokemon you could go ahead and use that. Matter of fact, you could do this. You could get like a double. Yo, in this in the sun, you could get Quark Drive, boosting boosted special attack, right? And then 
you could get another boost from Throat Spray from Bug Bites. Yeah, that's really, really good. So, potentially, if you run that on a Sun Team, that's going to get, like, uh, plus two and uh, almost plus two in Special Attack. Like, Quark Drive gives a little bit less. It's, like, 1.3, but... You're going to get uh, another 1.5 from that. So it's going to be hitting like really, really, really hard. So maybe give that set a go if you'd like, uh, you know, sun teams and stuff like that. I could absolutely see that working. And the opponent probably won't expect you to have bug buzz, you know. They'll probably be thinking, oh, just use like a coverage move like, you know, a fire move or a, a poison type move, you know. And solar beam's going to be hitting a lot harder too. So, you know, ground type poker, which could be a little bit more bulky, um, are going to get like really surprised there by such a, a, a powerful attack, you know. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, I think, for Iron Moth. Um, final conclusions, it, it's a pretty nice Pokemon, but it does have kind of bad sort of typing there. So when you compare this to Volcarana, I feel that it is definitely outclassed because of mainly one thing. It does not get Quiver Dan. So that's a great boosting move there, you know. Oh, another another item that's good as well uh, on there is Heavy Duty Boots too. But um, it's not as big an issue as uh, Volcarana because Volcarana is like four times a week to, uh, you know, uh, 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 Rock and uh, Stealth Rock absolutely destroys it, you know. So that's another item that could work on there too. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for Iron Moth. I'd say it's still a very, very good Pokemon, but I feel like people won't be looking at it as much compared to Volcarana because simply of that Quiver Dance uh, boost there, it uh, naturally gets and you know makes it more bulky. But I can see this working still as a very, very good Pokemon. It's got a lot of great coverage moves and it's got good speed and good special attack there. Good bulk. Uh, the only thing that really lets it down is its defensive stat and its typing. It's kind of bad. So yeah, apart from that, a pretty strong Pokemon. And this is our final Paradox Pokemon 2. Um, after to, uh, after this video, I'll be putting one more video up. And we'll be, that video will be starting on some brand new Generation 9 Pokemon that aren't the uh, Paradox one. So I have to think what I want to see there. If there's any Gen 9 Pokemon you really like me to see, let me know about in the comment section. If there's any other Pokemon that aren't Gen 9 that are currently in Scarlet and Violet, you can let me know about them in the comment section too if you want to see them. So I've, I've sort of got plans. Would you like to see me? using Pokemon outside of Gen 9 too? Would you like to see movesets for that, even though they've already been out? Maybe they could have an updated moveset if you haven't seen them for a while. Anyway, let me know about that one. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Iron Moth build. Peace out, people.